Rangers. 10 games, 59 and a third, and a sub half run per season, not just physically, but in her demeanor in the circle. She's always calm. Mackenzie Herzog, designated player, and an opening swing and a miss. And Aaron, you touch for Alex Storacco. And Patty Gasso said, I'm telling you, Nicole May. Thrown into last season as well with the injury to Jordy Ball. The 2 1 for Herzog. Fly ball. We'll see if anybody can reach this. And yes, Riley Boone runs it down. Almost a double clutch there. Snyder and his staff and what they're doing, they're moving this program in the right direction. It's going to be exciting to watch uh, at the top of this order. Little fly ball. Very shallow right field. And Tiara Jennings, sooner second baseman, will take care of has been keep Kaylee Wyckoff at bay all Leo, Texas native. Transferred in from South Carolina. Tap in right center field. That'll bounce off the wall. Scooped up by Jada Coleman. And again, it's a little high school. Think about this. She led Texas Tech in home runs last year with. Did she go around? She did. A tag applied by Kinsey Hansen for good measure. So a base hit, but it's true triple threat. You've already seen it. little flare. She dunks that one out into shallow right last night. Nine home runs. A little bit downstairs to T went with a pitcher per inning on Thursday. One of those was pitched by Fritz, but she's not been out things last night. Gave the Sooners a couple of runs. Ground ball to short. Oric over to Barraza for one. And Jennings easily beats the throw back to first. So look at the defense. 38 errors committed by this defense. It's committed Texas A&M last year. That is where Haley Lee was. And she was an All-American there. Then mm -hmm. Haley Lee has left the yard. The Sooners lead it 2-0. Her second home run of the series. In her 10th of the year, she's driven in 35 runs. And Oklahoma is out of the gate in the bottom of the first inning. Up and out. She doesn't get ahead of herself. She doesn't reach to get this pitch. She sees the ball deep, and she hits this opposite field. That's high IQ hitting. Sitting in late rhythm. That's it. Location out of the zone. Not only did she make contact, but she went yard. Op can't defend that. We can't defend the long ball. This pop-up out behind second base will be caught by Abby Oric and Brito is the Sooner senior catcher. Base is empty, two down. There she went is. after that one. And down on strikes is Kenzie Hansen. So after the home run, Fritz is... Do that today. Make the bottom half of this lineup pull their weight. Third and fourth. It was, it was offense a little bit quiet. They're not a poor team defensively, but they have made nearly 40 errors this season. Make them make plays. Jada Coleman in to take care of that ball off the bat of Barack. Oryx started a lot at third base this year. And that is ball four, a one-out walk to Abby Oryx. In 2021, then transferred to Lubbock where she batted 308 last year. Hits it pretty well into right center field, and that's going to bounce off the bottom of the wall. Coleman picks it up. Oric is around third. She'll get the stop sign. They've got her hung up. The throw comes home to Hansen, who applies the tag. Tech has its first run of the game cut down at the plate by the Sooner defense. You've got momentum when you think you're facing this team and you're riding. Back out there, which we wondered because they have switched pitchers inning to. If I am looking at this and looking long Ooh. game. Goodness, that whistled right past Kendall Fritz. A home run, 11 runs driven in. Be, and be able to be at a place that is the right fit for them. That's the ultimate goal. But it has ch completely changed the way staffs have to recruit. You all can get players on the recruiting trail and have yeah, they explode. Up is Armio. She's at the wall. It's off her glove and it's gone. Grace Lyons. Off the glove, the wall, and another Sooner two-run home run. It's easy it there, Chad. It's the fact that game over game, this this team is on Sorry, drift just a bit. Son, dude, you got a high school. One for three this weekend. It's this one, a little tailing fly ball. 
toward the gap and via an elder communicate time got forced out at second base the Sooners ended up getting a two-run home run at, at all no Jada Coleman draws the quick walk on I've said this time and time again if if my back is in Texas this is driven back into center field and tracking it down is via Jada Cole. Goes the off speed right here. I'm with you, but I want to see it outside the zone. I do sit her in the lineup right now. Get out of the zone. Fly ball to left. Not much wind to impact this, and it's caught by Boone. It's her first time. Turns on this one and drills it to straightaway right, but it's chased down by Torres at the warning. As they say, tradition never graduates. And it's not the. Didn't happen by accident. And Lee, and she is leaving the building again. Second home run of the day for Haley Lee. Okay. You gotta love it. I would, if you were Coach Craig Snyder, this is feeling bittersweet in that dugout. Here's Brito. She popped up to the shortstop, Oric, her first time. That one is crushed to straightaway center field, but caught by Via up against the fence. Oklahoma has led the country. 161 in NCAA record two years ago. Torres grounds to third and Reigns throws it away. The right. See Sidney Sanders, a home run batting two. And there is ball four. So an error and a walk last year. Let's think about that. And she's batting in the number eight spot in this lineup. It's extended the proceedings. The walk to Lions loads them. So the bases are full on an error and two walks. And we will swooning. She battled some injuries, some adversities earlier in being. She's been a staple in the starting nine, really for the first time in her career. She rips this one into left field. And the Sooners take a 6-0 lead, a quick throw that came back I'm not going to try and be a hero you see the maturity you see the understanding of the game right now you know 2021 sooner Coleman to chase a pitcher's pitch and Coleman and there it is it's a little flare out to Barraza inning over but two more sooner runs a home run by Haley I think the pitching staff a lot of the success that has come out of the you talk about the defense and how it takes pressure off of pitchers great spot by nicole may as this game is going along we're seeing her start to in the air left center field back to the fence and banging <laughs> into the fence but hanging on is riley boone over the left center field wall riley boone continues deep fly balls in this game in the way that riley boone Reigns, the former Sooner, on here. And that's off Reigns' glove. Reversing field is Oric, the shortstop, and does not quite. Pull to third. Only play is going to be over to first, and Reigns able to retire Haley Lee. The changeup disappeared. Ripped into left field by Alyssa Brito. Tiara Jennings will hold. The throw comes all the way to the plate, and that'll team. There's a base hit past the leaping reins. Sooners were off and moving. The throw comes in from the left fielder, Elder. And a great throw cut. Played it. Took a perfect throw, and that's exactly what Texas Tech got. And it's, it's the right thing to way to get this run across home plate. Find a way. Blasted into left field. Hit so hard that there's no chance for Nugent to try to score. That ball was smacked by you differently, and it plays more of a mental toll than anything else. Erickson hit by the pitch, and that loads the bases. In. Redshirted last year was a top five player national. A line drive that's caught by Barraza, and the inning is over. Sooners get a run, but leave the bases loaded. These counts, and there's another one. It's like the game within the game, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, how can we really narrow our focus? Roller. It'll be picked up. 
And the great throw down to first base that retires the side. 400 batting average, driven in six runs. Truber. And of all the pitchers on the staff, she's seen the least amount of innings in this series. Runs that. This one is popped up and caught by the third baseman, Reigns, racing in. It's the standard. The expectation is to continue to put the foot on the gas as it's being had post-game. This one is popped up out into shallow right center field. Who's got it? It will be the center fielder, Villa, at the last minute making the catch. Seven strikeouts. Thing that you start to think about as the season goes on. And Great pitch for the K. Again, Nicole May getting better, but as the game will to take all the things that you're learning and seven home runs for Herzog, and she clubs this one back up the middle. One out single. I think out in the in the seventh inning, mm -hmm. and she gives up two base hits. The first for the Red Raiders since all the way back in the second inning. Now it'll be runners at first. See her trying to be too fine with pitches. In the air to right, Torres will make the catch. We'll see the runner out there, Hamlin. Tap. See via one of those with some power, seven home runs. Yeah. Fly ball caught by the backtracking Tra Jennings and looks back at what has been a turning point for this. Green hits a flare, caught. Raza backtracking for the first out. Right, but if they're going to look back and feel like they should have maybe used Hoover differently this weekend, because she really truly has been effective Nugent had an RBI single when she came to the plate her last time up in the this upcoming week I look at as a test for this team. It's a tough road week making the trip to Baton Rouge There's Strike three called run production. You want to see quality and productive at bat as just cleanliness being t airtight defensively that shot goes into center field by Torres charging around to third goes Alyssa She's been due for a while. She's struggled. She has really struggled the past few weeks. Erickson hits a pop-up, and it's caught by the backtracking shortstop, Abby Oric. They leave two more out there, and we go to the seventh. She pitched a complete game three-hitter in getting the Sooners the opening win. Baco really was a huge bright spot in Thursday night's game. First pitch swinging, Barraza. Rounds out to Quincy Lilio. This is a five-inning no-hitter earlier this year against Kentucky. She was the Big Ten Pitcher of the Year. Two. Oric shoots this one into the air. And Tiare Jennings puts away out number two. Texas. Slow roller. Tiare Jennings in, up, over, and the Sooners win it. Hopefully, Oklahoma's offense produced in the first couple of innings. They had a 4-0 lead. But to me, the pitching, really, there's some close ball games, Aaron Miller, and Oklahoma never really separated. All gamut for this team, right? Defensive, pitching, offense. When you see all of them fire at the same time, I would challenge any team in the nation to give this team a run for their money.